Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I came across a question how to extract surface in part modeling so in UG we can extract surface inside the part modeling by using wave link geometry so how do we do same in solid works so I'm here I'm going to show you how to extract surface in part modeling in top-down approach so left side you can see they have extracted the surface from this block and I'm going to use this block to cut the other block. So I'm going to show you in a top-down approach. So I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the front plane. This is 120. This is 60. Select extruded 100. So now I am going to insert this component in the assembly. So give it in float. So in top down approach we have to select the front plane of the assembly and component that is part file right side with the right plane see here now I am going to take new file So I'm going to insert this new file as it is. Similarly, I have to constrain with front plane with front plane in the assembly mode, top plane with the top plane, and right right plane with right plane. Now I am going to create one cutout in the block. So select the front plane. Here I'm going to draw an arc. So we can take any dimension. So you can provide one radius to this arc. So I am not going to constrain at this moment. So I am going to create one extruded cut. Both sides and say OK. Now in top down approach we have to go to assembly. See here and we have to select the other component which we have inserted with a blank file. There is no feature in it. See here. So we have to edit this. Now select this top face and go to surface and select offset and make it zero. This is zero represents the copying of this uh, surface. See here it has been copied. See, we should not copy this, it, it cannot be done, see here. So we have to use offset surface command, see here. 
that is important. So, for better understanding I am going to change the color of this surface. See here, I am going to change this color. See. So, now it is copied to other file. See here. Now, if I want to use this uh, same surface for removing the material, so I am going to show you that. So, I am going to draw one block that is uh, this is 120, height is 60, and depth is 100. So, we, we have to select mid plate, save care. So, select this uh, offset surface, go to surface, and cut with surface. See here, it is going to ask you which direction you want to remove the material. So, if this is the direction I want to remove material. See here. Now, I am going to hide this surface. See. Now, when we go to assembly and come out of the edit mode, see it is exactly matching the other component. So, this is mostly useful for uh, mold design as well as uh, plastic components co-molding. So, this is brief about how to extract surface in part modeling with a top down approach. Thanks for watching.